Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina. I'm Jesse. Man on the street interviews. College versus street. Should biological men be chest feeding babies? What do you think? No. No. End video. <laughs> we have an article right here from the Telegraph. It says trans women's milk as good as breast milk. Trans women being a biological uh, male. Should biological men be chest feeding babies? Do you support the idea? Do you not? Where are you at? I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. I uh, personally don't care. Personally don't care? I don't care. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. It's their choice, so I guess they support it. Like, there's no reason to not support it, so. I don't know about right now. I think they, you know, they could be able to breastfeed a child. Maybe there could be a case where it's like a single father or something. I don't know. I think, like, even formula and stuff that women that can't breastfeed use, like, it's scientifically proven to not be, like, as good. So if there's any sort of, like, artificial compounds or things, it's just the same as formula. I don't know if I can make, like, a, a valid, like, a statement on that. College people are in this small little bubble where they think that men can't be evil. Wait, trans women can't be evil. I, I have a lot of respect for that woman to even bring up the formula situation because nobody seemed to even begin to talk about that. There's a lack of nutrition coming from the male-produced milk, okay? It's not viable for, for human life at this point, I guarantee it. Women, when they become pregnant, start to produce all these hormones that have them producing milk. That's why their breasts enlarge. If you're synthetically making that happen, it's not going to be as beneficial for you. It's going to lack nutrients. It's going to lack nutrients for the baby to help them get over viruses and sickness and develop and, and get a fully developed brain. What are, we, what are we doing here? My concern is why they even decided that to do this in the first place, to study this. Why was, was there such a need for this that we needed to do a, a biased study on it? Like, I'm, that's pretty f I'm going to say what I've said in a video that we previously talked about this in. I'm a lesbian, and if I had a baby with my wife, I would be uncomfortable with the idea of her breastfeeding my child. Not that it's not our baby, but if the baby came from me, I would be the one breastfeeding it. And it'd be very uncomfortable for me to have my wife say, why don't you let me breastfeed the child? It'd be, it'd be weird. That would be really <clears throat> weird. Now, I can at least give this much, because someone asked me when I was talking about this, what if, what, like basically, what if I was dry? If I was not producing milk, that's a different situation, because the only person I'd want to provide milk for my baby would be my wife, yeah. besides me. But if the baby's already getting the but nutrition... But if I have enough, yes. The, <clears throat> me inserting myself would pretty much be for a narcissistic reason. It's just weird to say, like, you want to experience breastfeeding the baby. It's one thing to be like... Or you deserve to breastfeed that baby, right, is right. what they say. Right, because I'd probably have milk in bottles, and you'd be like, fine, just give me the bottle. You wouldn't be like, let me whip out a titty. No thanks, I'm good. You'd bottle feed the baby breast milk, but you yeah, wouldn't but no. whip a titty out. No. Right. And I'm a Woman. Right. I can make the milk myself. And I, I would be fighting, like, because <clears throat> having a baby around can induce lactation in women who weren't pregnant, right? So even if you were like, I'm producing, let me do something with it. Right, I'd right, be right. like, why right. do you want to? But let, right, that's the question, right? Yeah. Why do you want to? Their answer. If I'm capable. To feel more like a woman. Right. So you want to use a baby so you can feel more like a woman. It has nothing to do with the health of the baby, it has to do with your rights as a trans woman. I think right. that is so up. It's their right to use babies. This is what the college kids are saying. I was around babies, and I did actually start, like, lactating a little bit at one point, and I never thought to myself, man, I should have a baby in front of me right now, you know? Yeah. It's more messed up that these young people, college kids, can't see that there is an ulterior motive. And they'll say, like what Hassan says, right-wing talking point, it's not actually happening, yada, yada, yada. But we don't know yet. Uh, there's going to be a lot of documentaries coming out on stuff like this where these men are, I mean, because there's a loophole with self-ID, these men can use the self-ID, go under the guise of being a trans woman, and are able to actually use babies to get their rocks off and such. Now, the college kids will be like, that's not happening. People wouldn't do that. You really think a man would pretend to be a woman just so he could breastfeed a baby? Yes! yes. You ever seen that Family Guy clip where it's Peter holding Stewie as a baby and he just, like, slips his nipple <clears> in his <throat> mouth? That's what yeah. I imagine every time I think, I think of this. Just 
Should biological men be trying to chest feed babies? No. How do you feel about it, yes or no? Absolutely, absolutely not. No. That's wrong. It's just wrong. Hell no. No way. Absolutely not. No. No. I'm gonna keep it real, no. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm scared to even answer, but no. No. It's, it's for us. How do you guys feel about that? Uncomfortable. I think it's a little strange. I think it's kind of crazy myself. As long as the composition of the liquid that they're feeding to the children provides the children the necessary nutrients that they need to grow properly, then I have no problem. Okay, question. Is it okay for a biological man who's a trans woman to be breastfeeding his baby and having a boner at the same time? What if the man's breastfeeding the baby and has an erection? Is that cool? I don't even want to think about this. But that's reality. I think the babies are going to go hungry. <laughs> they're going to go hungry. That's all I got to say. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 they're gonna go hungry if the bio, if the men if the biological men aren't trying to chest feed them. Yes, I would think so. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so she's pretty much saying they're not gonna get the nutrients they need. Yeah, they're not gonna be satisfied. They're not yeah. gonna be su well, sustained. The, the chick who was relating the men breastfeeding to the the formula. How long has formula been around? Haven't we done enough studies on formula that we know long term effects aren't harmful? I wasn't a nipple baby, so like I was, a, I was a bottle fed baby. Yeah. Oh, well, I've never tried it, so <laughs> I don't. I have no idea how. Like, I don't. I don't have any comparison. It's pretty funny that we have to ask that question, right? <laughs> Isn't that crazy. You yes, when baby formula was invented, mm -hmm. 1865. It wasn't perfected. Mm -hmm. Until 1981, it's <laughs> You need to experience it to, to have an opinion on whether or not you think that's good or bad? Well, with every scientific or medical achievements, there needs to be trial and error, trial and error. It's and shocking it's, to put it very lightly. Like, yeah, yeah. It started, started with the wedding cake, and now it's... <laughs> and now we're having dudes breastfeeding, what, like, what is that, seven years, maybe? Why do you think now? That's just disgusting. I mean, think about it. <laughs> Just visualize it for a second. That's that's disgusting. But a baby is innocent. You know what I mean? Like a baby didn't ask for that. So yeah, baby is innocent. I think. First of all, oh my God, that Yorkie is so cute. I love puppies. And you know she knows about innocence because that little puppy's sitting so secure in that bag. <laughs> yeah. Listen, the child, the baby, cannot consent to that. Okay. Right. I, I thought like hashtag Me Too were all about consent. But now, what, consent is transphobic? Is that what, I'm, what we're seeing here? Because women aren't, allow, aren't consenting to seeing dicks in bathrooms and locker rooms. What, what's with the going against consent now? It's like fucking flip-flopped. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that one for you. Exactly. But puppies! There's a certain way to conduct it, and that way to conduct it and go about it is to leave that to women. Natural. For me, just personally, anything that's not, like natural it happens in a natural way um i just feel like i do not connect with that necessarily i mean you don't even bring your baby to like public places for the first few months because their immune system isn't fully developed but you're gonna feed them a bunch of chemicals that's that's gross it's a child Outside of the fact that they already have their bodies pumped full of chemicals. Hormones. And they probably have fake breasts. Mm -hmm. Now they're trying to use the fake breasts, the silicone pumped full. Oh, male no. No, they're not using fake breasts. No, they're the breasts that happen when they get the estrogen. Yeah, but are... So, are, so they're, I mean, they're not, they're not natural breasts. No, yes. no, no, but, but these people pay for procedures to have their breasts enlarged. Yeah, are the, I don't think those are the ones that you can't breastfeed if you... If you I don't know. I, but are those the people that are so trying? Good. No, I think these are the, the ones that are trying are the ones that get those, like, man boobs But they're from still estrogen. pumping themselves full of estrogen. They're <clears> pumping <throat> themselves full of a whole bunch of shit, yeah. That's synthetic estrogen, not yes. real estrogen, which means it's not having the same effects in your body as it is in mine. That's why they have to take something to induce lactation, and it doesn't just happen like it would for you or I. Exactly. Because we're women. So it's like you have to not only think, you're, not, you're thinking about yourself. Honestly, you're selfish, if you really want to be honest. And you're not thinking about the child and the effects of the child. That's what he, Absolutely, that's what I just said. He is so absolutely right. Put him on stage in front of people. We're going to hell in a handbasket. And I'm not a preacher. I'm just telling you God's honest truth. You may not like it, but that's why I feel. And a majority of people who live in our neck of the woods in middle America feel the same way. It's, it's all weird. I don't know why they would be doing this right now. Why not get a woman to do it, you know? 
it just doesn't make sense. Why take a drug? That's what. Why not get a woman to do it or use the formula that they recommend and they pay for with WIC? They did. Back in the day, they had women that would breastfeed for the mothers that couldn't. Yes, and I'm aware of that. And mm-hmm. I understand in that time, they didn't have formula. Exactly. So they had to have wet nurses. Right. But if formula supplies enough that a child can live and sustain to make it to real food. Then why does the man need to breastfeed? At all. For selfish reasons. I don't care single father. I don't care trans <laughs> yeah. individual. I don't care. Why? That it's That's what we call um, child abuse. It's just weird. There are women who don't even want to... There are women who don't even want to breastfeed their children because, because they feel weird. weird about it. Yeah. I wouldn't want to breastfeed another woman's child. No. Because it's... Never. It's so different. It's to, to, Women don't think the way that men think. I don't give a shit if the man thinks he's a woman. He, he's thinking like a fucking man right like now. Like I said earlier, <clears throat> if I wasn't producing milk and for some reason you were... That's the only situation. Right, but I would I, have, first of all, I would have to feel very comfortable with that, and I'm not sure that I would. Well, I would but be that's more just a, me. I'd be more of a pumper than a, than a breastfeeder, you know what Yeah, I mean? that, would, that would make more sense. Like, I'd pump the milk, put it in the freezer. Yeah, warm right, the right, right, right. Because unless you've always been like, I want to be a mom, uh, that's, that's probably not something that you're... It's also just a lot of... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, sorry, here's my boob. <laughs> right. They kind of lost me there. Yeah, no, that's... That should be child abuse. That's disgusting. Now, I am talking to people that are saying that this is abuse and that it's wrong that a biological man is taking drugs to chest feed baby, uh, a baby. Um, what would your response to those people be? Um, I guess, well, as long as it doesn't harm the baby. What would your response to those people be? Uh, none of my business. Probably, like, why do you care so much? I mean, unless you're seeing it all over the streets. I mean, it would have bothered me, but like... Oh my f***ing God, dude! Did you hear all that? Hold on, let's... Hold on. I did. What would your response to those people be? Um, I guess... Well, as long as it doesn't harm the baby. We don't have enough long-term studies to answer the question if it harms babies. Mm Mm-hmm. What would your response to those people be? Uh, none of my business. Feminized men are the detriment of our society. This is what everyone said about the bathrooms. Here's the other one. Probably, like, why do you care so much? Why do you care that people are abusing babies? I don't know, because I have a soul, and I have morals, and I'm a human being, unlike you, sir. For the streets, I mean, it would have bothered me. But- so, uh, so as long as you don't see a lot, a lot of very sick and twisted stuff going on, it's not gonna bother her. That's a very privileged point of view, don't you think? I'd like to know what her opinion would be if everyone was doing it in the streets. I think a lot of people also think they're too busy to concern themselves with things like this because they think it's just a passing fad, when really it's it's very active right now. Until it affects them. Right? Because they're too busy to care. I mean, unless you're seeing it all over the streets. I mean, it wouldn't bother me, but like... I don't think that's the case. I feel like people probably aren't seeing that very often, so like, get over yourself. It's like all the porn industry has made breastfeeding a horrible thing when it's like a nutritional, it's nurture, it's a female thing, and it's... Listen, the white bitch said get over yourself, lady. That was such a cunty thing to say. Well, she was saying that there's not enough research, and then her follow-up was... But it's a female thing, so he's about to. I want to hear no, what she. No. Has, I want to hear what she uh, has to say. I, was, I know. I, was I know. I like her. Okay. If it's a female thing, in this case, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be if they're taking drugs to lactate. Is that correct? What do you mean? It just depends. Yeah, on the person who's doing it too. Because mm-hmm. like I don't know, each man has its, his different intentions. It depends right? on maybe like the intent of the man Feeding. taking drugs to breastfeed a, a baby. Yeah, like if he doesn't have like. Let's just say, like, the the mom is not involved. Like, obviously, what else is he going to do if the baby needs to be breastfed? It's nurturing. It it can be, like... He goes and buys formula. Formula, formula, formula. Like, male nurturing. It's, like, you get everything from both parents. Um, I think that... Wait, did she just switch up on me? That's why I said I want to hear what she has to say. The baby needs to be breastfed. It's nurturing. It... It can be like male nurturing. It's like you get everything from both yeah. parents. Um, I think. 
I, 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 I she miss, lost me. Yeah, she she went from like one side of the aisle to the other. Now she's like, it's so nurturing. Oh yes, the man, man could put his hairy nipple in the baby's mouth and hopefully it won't choke on the pubes on his chest and the nipples. And that's fine. It's just really nurturing. <laughs> Parents. Um, I think that we just need more education on everything. Like, I think a lot of like um, fear or like rejection of something comes with like not being as educated on it, and it's a new thing. I mean, for everyone. The opinion that isn't she the same one who was just saying no? Wait, so men breastfeeding babies is a good thing, and we just aren't educated enough? Is that what I just heard? I don't know, because I think she was the one who was against it, but now I don't know. This is very confusing. That it's bad for the child is steeped in most likely transphobia than it is in the actual well-being, the care of the well-being for the child. I guess it's like a little of intolerance because they're so against it, but yeah. It might be a little bit of like, um, just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not right or wrong. It's something that's gonna, it's happening, so I mean, we gotta get used to it. Those words like intolerant and like, you know, other words that get thrown around, they kind of have like these connotations of like, oh, if you're intolerant of something, like, you must be a really bad person because you don't tolerate things. It's like, so what, you just tolerate everything in your life? Like, you just, what, you should just let everyone steamroll you constantly? Like, everyone is intolerant of something, mm. right? But they want to use those words to, to try and attach negative connotations to you. You're intolerant, you're racist, you're a, you're a neo-Nazi, but it's like... If you just start throwing those words around constantly, they just, like, lose their meaning. So now when people call me, like, intolerant, like, yeah, I guess, like, you know, you can be intolerant without being malicious. Right? We've talked to people today, basically, that have called this, uh, this... I think that he had a really good point with what he said, <laughs> that you can be opposed to something without being... Phobic. Hateful. <laughs> hateful. Phobic. Or intolerant. Hateful. I mean, you, yeah, intolerant. intolerant is not a bad word for it, but it does have a, a negative connotation. But if you just oppose something, you're against something, that doesn't mean that you co you come at it with hate or with bad intentions. Right, like transphobe. It's a word that's used all over, the time. Overused. <clears throat> right? And over time, I've become to really enjoy the word. Because it means you are logical, you're not for uh, harming or abusing children, and... You believe in reality and biological sex. I mean, I'll say I'm a transphobe all day. I am a transphobe. I am yeah, but a transphobe. That's not, that's not what the word... I'm a transphobe. But that's not what the word by <laughs> definition means. It's not that... Because you're not actually No, but that's what it means to everyone else, right? Are you a turf? Yeah. I guess I am. Really? I don't know anymore. I'm saying that the, the implication Bo is wrong. That your implica The implication that has been given to it is wrong. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean anything. That's all I was saying. Well, I am a transphobe and a turf, 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 turfy. I'm a turf, 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 turf. Hey, turfy. Are you offended by me calling myself a transphobe? No. Why? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah. No, I'm not. I'm all stressed out. Today's now. a hard day. Why? Oh. Oh. Well. Last night was fine, uh, but I gotta work a double, and everything's been stressful today. <laughs> ah! Well, it could be worse. You could have, like, no arms. Ah! <laughs> anyway, fellow turfs and transphobes, I hope you had a good one. <laughs> we had a good one. Comment, like, subscribe.